Hi, my name is Mark, and all my life I loved kids and I wanted to be a father. I was always the fun one that liked to play around and uh, joke around and you know, play sports with kids. I volunteered um, with kids growing up. Um, my brother had a kid, um, had two kids, so being an uncle was like the greatest thing in the world. So when my wife and I first got married, she was having some, I remember she woke up in the middle of the night with just some stomach pains. We went to the emergency room and the doctor just right then and there said, oh, well, you're never gonna be able to have kids. I mean, it just floored us, but we kind of put it in the back of our head and didn't really talk about it. After trying to have kids for about a year, and we started really being worried about what that doctor told her. We started each getting tests done to see if it was something that we were even able to have. Nothing was coming back negative that we couldn't have kids. It's just coming up on two years and that we were trying and we still didn't have any kids. It wasn't something I was comfortable talking about just because um, I just felt like I was failing. So I remember um, one Saturday night, there was a special event going on at the end of the service that Pastor John was saying, the beams were erected for the new sanctuary and that there's gonna be Sharpies out there for us to go and write what we were believing for the new sanctuary. I remember going up to the beam and writing that we will raise our family in the new church uh, and I signed Mark and Rachel. And I just remember after writing it, it, I just felt more belief that this was gonna happen. Literally a week after I wrote on the beam, my wife gave me a, um, a picture that was wrapped and I opened it and it was a sonogram um, that she was pregnant. And I mean, I couldn't believe that God answered our prayer so quickly. So over the last seven years since we rode on that beam, we've had four kids. <laughs> We're literally raising our kids in the new building and in the new children's building. Being a father, uh, it, it's the greatest thing I've ever done. It doesn't matter what I do at work or, or how, um, how many accolades you get there, but just being a dad is the best thing that I'm doing on this earth, is just being their father. Not only is being a father the greatest joy in my life, it's also the most important job that I have. I'm just thankful for God for answering my prayers and allowing me to be a father.